Bam! Ladies and gentlemen, cats and tigers. Oh man, I already messed it all up. Anyway, welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the raw rolling machine, that's right. If you guys aren't familiar with raw papers and raw rolling machines and raw products, raw as a company, go check them out. Josh Kesselman, I actually bought my first bong from him back in 1993 in Gainesville, Florida. So before he was the famous and uh, world-renowned manufacturer of rolling products. So anyway, I prefer to use these raw papers here. These are the organic hemp papers. I get the king size and the one and a quarters. And those are the papers of my choice, but you know, to each his own. So today we're gonna be going over, because I've done a video in the past over about the raw rolling machine, right? So king size rolling machine. I also have the uh, junior as well. I could show you that too. If my assistant was around, she could grab it for me, but um, I'm just kidding. Um, long story short, I have done the video in the past. If this is not your first time here, welcome back and thank you for coming back. If it is your first time here, well, I do videos like this, all about cannabis and cannabis related content. All about stuff like this, rolling machines, bongs, you name it. I do strain reviews, I do all kinds of cool stuff. Now I did a review on this product here. Um, this is the first rolling machine that I had, the first king size. And this one, it rolls a nice joint, but it's kind of skinny. It rolls a smaller or a skinner, a thinner joint anyway. Or I used it to roll a blunt with, and I use it to roll a backwoods blunt with too, as a matter of fact, which I got my backwoods here. And what I did was I, I already opened one up and I've got it a little bit moist because uh, that's what I do, that's my technique. Some people don't do that, but that's what I do. And um, anyway, there it is, I'm gonna let it uh, dry up a little bit more. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna get the scissors too because we're gonna cut this thing, is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> so, as I clear my throat, this is the old one and I did have a video on this, you can check it out on my site. Um, this is the new one that I just got and it's got that adjustment on it so that you can make it skinny or you can do it fuller size, which it's it's kind of got a bigger bigger chamber in here. You know what I'm saying? And you can also buy a bigger insert too, this vinyl piece, you can buy one that's even deeper, I believe. But this one is bigger than the beige one. The black one is bigger than the beige one. And we're gonna use this black one right now to roll up a backwoods. So, and this is the junior one here too, or the one and a quarter, I guess you call it one and a quarter size. So you got the whole raw ma rolling machine family right here. Bam. Now, I know a lot of people like to roll their own too with their own fingers and stuff. And I do that too sometimes if you really want it to get fat because you're not gonna be able to get it too fat inside of your raw rolling machine. So let's get out the rolling tray here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the nitty gritty here. My rolling tray is a little bit messy, but I got all kinds of papers here. I got Juicy J's as well. That's also owned by the same guy, uh, Josh Kesselman. He started that company as well. So here we go. We're gonna be putting in some, this is some Mandarin Sunset from Grow Healthy. And then we're also gonna use some Jack Herrera from True Leaf. And we'll just go ahead and drop that down in there on the rolling tray. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. So I'm just gonna grind this up. Got this cool little skate grinder. Looks like a, a skate wheel and it has bearings on it. You can get that at your local smoke shop. It's got like rubber on the outside, like silicone, so it's kind of easier to grip. Gets a nice small grind on it too. It's not super big, so if you're into big grinders, you might not like it. I could have pre-ground my flour, I guess, for the video, but oh well. It's all part of the experience, right? I'm drying out that leaf anyway. So this is how you can use a natural leaf in your raw rolling machine. Now you can use a regular hemp wrap too. You can use a king size paper as well. You can put your tip in there if you want. Thump, da -da -da. 
And this thing has a little chamber here too. It's kind of tight on there. Let's see if I can break it loose. There we go. And you get a little bit more flour in there. That's kind of a key chamber, but it gets your flour in there too when you're grinding it. So here we go, grinding up the Jack Carrere and Mandarin Sunset. So it's gonna be a little combination there. How's everybody doing out there, huh? Go ahead and put something down in the comments for me. I like it when you comment. When you comment, when you like, when you share, when you, uh, when you subscribe, obviously, all those things help to support my channel. Help to support Herbert 420. And we do have a giveaway coming up uh, because we passed 3420. And every time I pass 420, I'm gonna do a giveaway. So like at 4,420 is another one, 5,420, you know, so on. So we're gonna keep on going with the giveaways as the channel grows. So share it with your friends, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff, because that really does help me out. It helps out the channel, the whole nine yards. I really appreciate it too, I love all of you guys. I've got this uh, handy dandy, this is what they call the scoop head. You can check him out on Instagram, scoop heads, and he might even have a website. But it's a good way to scoop your flour up, look at that. So we got the, we're going to use the king size, the big daddy rolling machine. And um, we're going to leave it on the full size, not the skinny size. We're just going to start loading it up with the flour. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I wish I had a dab tool. I'll get it. Now you don't want to overfill this thing too much. And if you are going to pack it really hard, you're gonna to wanna to put like a toothpick or something in there to help get the airflow going. Cause you're gonna pull that toothpick out after you roll it. And they make longer toothpicks that you can put in there. Thank you, Crazy Pot Mama. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of roll this flour around to see how fat it is. I don't even think it's loaded up enough because I'm not able to turn it. Sometimes you got to kind of help it out. There you go. So let's turn this around a couple times and let's see how it looks. I don't want to overfill it is why I'm doing that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to put some wax on the outside. So Now here is my leaf unwrapped Backwoods, the flavor I got today is wild rum. Wild rum, how are you doing? I love backwoods. So, they do have a great taste. What I do is just to make it easier to roll is I cut off this uneven end here, if you know what I'm saying. So see how the ends kind of come to a point, so I just kind of squared up a little bit now, this machine is big enough that you don't want to cut it too short. That's probably good. I'm still going to just leave it just like that. And I'm going to start it like this side, the, the wider side. I'm going to start in there. And I just kind of set it in there. And since it's moist, you know, it'll stick. Well, not stick, but it'll kind of try to stay there. And then what you do is you just kind of start trying to... Whoops. Give this another turn so it's good and easy, ready to turn. And then what you do is you just kind of set it down in there so that it's the right length. And then just kind of start it turning. I'm using my thumb to kind of start it. See now, now it's kind of pinched in there and I want to make sure it's at the right length and it is. And then I'm just gonna gently roll it in there. And now when it gets to about here is when I'm gonna start licking it. that's because you're using this machine. So I give it a good lick and then I just keep on going. Keep, you know, you can pull it out a little bit, not too hard, but just kind of keep it straight. And there we go, I roll it around. I only roll it around like maybe one time. I don't want to keep rolling it once it goes all the way in. 
And then I'm gonna leave it in there though. And you'll see why. I'm gonna just let it sit in there for a couple minutes. I do like this flavor. Wild rum. We're about to fire it up too. I don't, I can't smoke a lot of a backwoods because it gets me all dizzy and sick and stuff. But we are gonna fire this sucker up and see how it hits. Got a lighter right here. Now, like I said, I leave it in there and I just kind of, I don't want to keep rolling it though. I just leave it in there. You can, now this one here, it's got this cool thing here where you can tighten it up. So I'm going to do that to just kind of help tighten it up a little bit. And then we're just going to pop that sucker out and boom, look at that. It popped right out of there. See that? So now I'm just going to go back and make sure that it's good and sealed on there. Just kind of run over the edge with your finger. And then you just let that sucker dry out, really. This one's still a little bit too wet. So we're gonna have to stop the video or we'll just come back. I'm gonna edit it in when it's nice and dry and ready to smoke. But that's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. There's your blunt. Backwoods rolled with a raw rolling machine. There's just some spots here that are coming up, but that's all right. We'll get some better adhesion here. It dries, it'll dry up nice and sealed. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some concentrates and put them on the outside. Yep. Take a nice little smear of some wax here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda make a ring. Around it. And the reason I do that it's kind of like twaxing your joint. You're adding wax to it or concentrates to it. And then while you're smoking it, it'll kind of soak into the, uh, to the, the leaf, I guess you call it in this case. And a lot of times it's easier. This particular concentrate is being a pain in the butt, but you can use distillate or I prefer a nice little wax like this, which is what I've done there. And you know, you don't have to be like super artistic with it. Just kind of throw it around there because once it gets hot, it'll start melting and go all around that thing. So let me put another piece there that was stuck in my finger. Anyway, that's how it is. So we're gonna do a time lapse and I'll be back later when it's dried out and we'll smoke it together. I'm gonna put it right there. I'll be back. Okay, the blunt is now dry, as you can see. It's ready to be smoked. This is a backwoods rolled in the raw rolling machine. Or you can use any natural leaf wrap or anything. I don't know. Maybe a backwoods is the best for that. But here we go. I'm light that sucker up. Here we go. Got a little weed in my mouth. It's a little tight because it's from a rolling machine, but let me see. Yeah, it's still a little tight, but like I said, you can put a toothpick in it, although it's burning. It's burning good. We got a couple people with some big lungs. We'll probably pull it through. I think it's got a tight spot right in there somewhere. 
not just because it's a machine roll, you know, so it's still a machine. But the point is, you know you can roll a backwards with a raw rolling machine. Oh well, try out your own. It is definitely a little bit fatter than the other machine, than the original raw king size machine. So we'll check out some of my other videos. Try to roll a raw blunt. All right, uh, listen to me. Try to roll a backwoods in your raw rolling machine. Um, still the best way to roll a nice big fat backwoods is obviously by yourself. Let's see here. I'm getting hits. They're just not monstrous hits. But it's definitely into the wax now. I can see that. So it's going to be exciting. Well, there you go. There you have it. Check me out on Instagram. It's Herbie underscore dabs and my assistant, Crazy Pop Mama. I'm just kidding. That's my girlfriend. She's not my assistant. So, um, Herbie underscore dabs, Crazy Pop Mama. Go check out some of my playlist. If you made it this far in the video, you definitely got to try this. And check out some of my other videos. Check out some of my playlists. Hope you guys have a great whatever it is time of day. And I uh, hope that you are... Uh, Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Hope you guys come back and watch another video. I'm high as fuck and I hope you are too. See you later.